Hey, Mrs. Buttershawn here. So today we're going to be doing a lab experiment on specific heat. So the very first thing we do with any lab is we're going to ask our question that we need to figure out. So our question today is, will a metal or plastic spoon melt an ice cube the fastest? So we need some materials in order to do this experiment. The materials that we're using are going to be a metal spoon, a plastic spoon, and some ice cubes. So I need you now to come up with a hypothesis. Your hypothesis can state something like this. I think the blank spoon will melt an ice cube the fastest. You're gonna put either a metal or a plastic spoon. And as you saw in the picture in the last um, slide with all of the materials, we're just gonna set the ice cubes on the spoon and we're gonna let them melt over time and see which one melts the fastest. So you're just making a really good educated guess on which one you think will melt the ice cube the fastest. So go ahead, pause the video and do that. All right, guys, so here we have both ice cubes. They're in the metal spoon and the plastic spoon. I am speeding up this recording so that you can see this happen because it does take a while for the ice cubes to actually start melting. Um, but once it does start melting, it goes pretty quickly. And you'll see at the end, I turn out the spoons to show you how much they've melted. So you're gonna see I'm turning out the plastic spoon and there's not really any water there. Um, the metal spoon, however, has quite a bit of uh, water that's been melted. All right, so our results are in. The metal spoon definitely melted quite a bit of the ice cube. As you can see, where when I poured out that plastic spoon, there was only about one little tiny drop of water that had melted, no big deal. You guys, this is because metal has a very low specific heat. So let's talk about the science of this experiment from start to finish, okay? So the first thing that we need to do for our conclusion is talk about the heat transfer um, basics of it, right? So remember that heat always transfers from a warmer to a cooler object. In this case, the warmer objects were our spoons and the cooler object was our ice cube. So our heat was being transferred from our spoons to our ice cubes. Now, metal does have a lower specific heat and this is due to metal being a good conductor and plastic being a good insulator. So they're almost opposites when it comes to heat transfer. So um, if you're looking at a low specific heat capacity, any objects or material substances that have a low specific heat, basically all that means is that they require less energy to change temperature, all right? Um, now conductors transfer heat very easily. So our spoon being a metal spoon, being a great conductor, allowed that heat to move through the spoon um, and into that ice cube and that heat just traveled through it so easily because it's a great conductor with a low specific heat capacity. It didn't require hardly any thermal energy in order to do that. Um, so it definitely was the one that melted that ice cube the fastest. Uh, now, did anybody get this? What type of heat transfer was this an example of? So we had three, right? Convection, conduction, and radiation. Which one do y'all think it is? You can pause and think about it if you want to. So our answer is conduction, right? So the spoon was actually touching our ice cube, so it did have direct contact. Um, so this was definitely an example of conduction heat transfer. I hope this lab was helpful to y'all. Thanks everybody. Okay. If you're still having trouble with specific heat and understanding the basics, guess what? I have a video on that. Go ahead and watch it. Um, if you all are learning from these videos, push that subscribe button so you can see all my new ones that are coming out. Thank you all for watching. Bye, everybody.